Auzubillahimineşşeytan rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are having an expert of botany, Mr. Mushtaq Abdwani. He will give us a description uh, regarding the plant that is Papavirus somniferum. Uh, over to Mushtaq. Okay, so uh, this is the plant here. It's Papavirus somniferum. We just show uh, the viewers uh, the Papavirus somniferum. Okay, let me pluck one. Like this. So this is the uh, you can say the fruit of this uh, plant. So uh, so far as this Papavira somniferum is concerned, so it's commonly known as uh, poppy. Uh, it can be termed as prickly poppy. Uh, it can be also termed as a theme plant. Uh, uh, it can be termed as bread poppy uh, because we get the poppy seed from it. That's used. Uh, to that make the bread. that is used by the bakers. Okay. Uh, yes, exactly. So, uh, 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 botanically, it's termed as Papavira somniferum. So, let us uh, go into the systematic position of this plant, rather the taxonomic description. So, it's uh, kingdom planty, okay? Yes. It's order Renan uh, Culeils, mm. right? It is uh, 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 its family, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's uh, the, <coughs> its genus is, uh, you know, Papavira, right? And its species is somniferum, okay? So this uh, Papavira somniferum has many uses, uh, you know, it can, as I already told you that uh, it's commonly called as bread poppy as well because we get the bread seed from it, we get opium from it, which used, it's called, can be termed, it's a narcotic drug. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. could, you, could you please uh, tell uh, the viewers how this uh, uh, drug is obtained from this plant? Okay, so uh, it's very simple. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, it's, it's raw as yet, it has not ripened yet. Yeah. So once it ripens, so it can be, it opens up like this, so... As you can see, I'll pluck it here, right? Just see here. Okay. Are you getting me? Yeah, yeah. What are they? They are the seeds. seeds. It's the bread seed, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the poppy seed. Yeah. So from this poppy seed, uh, uh, opium is obtained, you know. Uh, it, it has many, it has, it has huge medicinal importance. Mm. It can be used as an analgesic. It can be used, to, uh, we can get alkaloids from it, such as papavirin, thebane, mm. right? So yeah. Many alkaloids which are of uh, huge importance. Mm. So they are obtained from it. So, so far as the distribution is concerned, it uh, grows in, uh, it, it is historical perspective, if it is concerned, it grows in Mediterranean, Mediterranean region, Eastern Mediterranean region, right? So, it grows in uh, Himalayan region, uh, in Punjab, in Himachal Pradesh, in Sikkim, in Manifal, in JNDK, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, 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 it's a mesophyte, you know, it, mm -hmm. it, it requires the moderate habitat. Moderate uh, rainfall yes. as moderate okay, temperature. Okay, okay, uh, yes, 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 exactly. Uh, uh, but yes. If you, if you go through the disease aspect of yeah. this plant, many fungal infections can attack to this plant. Mm. Uh, uh, so, no, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, different categories of fungi, such as the uh, alternaria, <coughs> you know, powdery mildew, downy mildew, uh, they can attack. So, in order to keep it safe, we have to, uh, you know, mm. separate the fungicides time and again or from time to time. Overall it looks like a charming and attractive plant. You know it has got a typical the fruit. Aroma. The fruit it looks like a bowl. It seems the flowers they seem to be uh, white. They are yes. in white color and okay. it seems to be an attractive. Exactly. Uh, and uh, if, we, if, if we have an aroma of this flower, yeah. the aroma. Typical uh, aroma. It yeah. is having a typical aroma. I can show you one, uh, one of the flowers, you know, mm. this, this one. This is, this is of the same, it literally turns white. Mm. So firstly, it looks like this, mm. you know, it's a very brightly colored flower, right? Mm. Look at the sepals, look at the sepals, mm. they are brightly colored, they are attracted, so very simple to uh, guess that this is could you, an entomophilus flower. Yeah, yeah, Entom could, could, you, could, you, could you please explain the viewers uh, how the pollination occurs in uh, Papa It's very simple, uh, there are various uh, pollinating agents, if, so far as grass pollination is concerned. Uh, you know, uh, various agents are involved in case of endomophily. You know, uh, it can be wasp, it can be bee, it can be dragonfly, etc. So, uh, it's very too, uh, easy to understand that since the flowers are brightly colored, since the flowers are conspicuous, since the flowers nature. have, yes, since the flowers mm. have typical aroma, right? They attract the pollinators from a longer distance. Mm. So, uh, they are the entomophilus flowers. Uh, could you please uh, explain the viewers uh, uh, what is the, uh, how it can be grown? Uh, into the uh, soil. Yes. Okay. So as you as you as you can see that uh, uh, 
uh, this uh, plantation here, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, first we have to, you know, uh, aerate the land, mm. right? Mm. We have to plow the land. There must mm. be proper aeration, right? Mm. Then we have to uh, keep the uh, uh, keep into consideration that there must be a little amount of water, rather the moisture Ample in the soil. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so after getting the proper amount of light, we will sow the seeds, so they will germinate. And it's as usual as I say that if you grow other crops like that are vegetables, tomato, potato, etc. Thank you viewers. Okay, this thanks. was a video and uh, this uh, the courtesy of the video goes to um, Mr. Mushtaq Amadwani and I am Bilal Amadwani, the camera person. Uh, need your comments and your likes. Thanks. thanks Have a nice day. Okay, thanks.